Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm working with somebody via email, and they sent me a screenshot, and I totally don't know what's going on or what they're even trying to accomplish, but they want a fancier B, and I don't know if you can see that, but let's see if we can't zoom in a little bit. And when he brings it into Corel, it's all messed up, and so I'm mainly doing this for him, but... If you have Gabriola font, and if you, uh, it's a Windows font, all fonts are in Windows. And if you take your text tool and cursor your text back, whoop, and just cursor over it, you get this uh, blue box. And I don't really honestly know when this started in Corel, but I think it started with like seven, and then cursor down, it's going to show you all these fancier words. Uh, so let's just pick this one right here. And let's say this is too much, and you want to get rid of, you just want this part. Well, let's make it a little bit smaller, bring it into the center of the screen, and just go to arrange, break it apart, and you get that. So there's just that one fancy deal, but we don't want to do that. Let's go and convert it to curves. Now there is a problem when you go to a range and break curve apart, it's going to fill in these two B's or two E's, but that's easily fixed. I'm going to go left click, right click, and then I'm, it's a little bit hard to select that other center. So I'm going to start off the page or off the E, and then you left click right click and do the same thing with this E and I'm not saying you'll ever have an E but you have to select it off this page no fill now you can't fill these in the normal way because it's going to fill it back in but you can use our friend the smart fill tool and then you just want to remember to take these two and put right click no hairline then you could actually move these take them out of the way do whatever you want to with them, manipulate them. You know, you could rotate them. Um, there's a lot you could do with this. If you didn't like the ones they're showing you, you could actually probably join these two. Let's just take that one away. And what I would do is take everything and put it into no fill hairline and join these two a little bit better. We just, I just did a video almost like this last night. Take that node and just bring it up a little bit. Let's take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. And then we can still correct that a little bit. Well, let's take the smart fill tool, fill in that B. Then you could take your smart fill away. And we need to fix that right there. And I would still want to do it as a hairline. So I'm going to select it, left click, right click. And then you can take your shape tool and just get rid of some of those nodes and make it kind of look like it flows with the other ones. We'll see how many we can take away without destroying it. But then just take your smart fill tool back and fill it in. Right click no outline. And now you have a much fancier B than you had before. And you could very easily and if, you, if I would have used the uh, nudge distance, we could just nudge it back over. I did not do that, but you could very easily, I think we're on the same plane. Just grab it and hold down your control button. And I actually moved it up a little bit, but you can put it back in there. And then you would just smart fill the other letters. So that's one way you could manipulate a font to your liking or your customer's liking. Left fit, left click or right, excuse me, right click, no outline. And there is a clean vector font that you kind of created. And there's a lot you could do with this. So I truly hope it helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.